Red Dead 2, we're on chapter 6 slash 1, The Course of True Love 5. Okay, in order to make time, you're going to have to skip these uh, cutscenes. It's just the way it is. Um, Rockstar really jacks you when it comes to these time restraint ones. And also uh, the fight sequence in the center there. Uh, so this is done with a couple of videos to make it all happen, but... In order to make time, you, you are going to have to uh, skip through the cinematics, unfortunately. Uh, you can do what I do, uh, you know, have the game save, uh, play the mission. If you don't want to do it through the replay, uh, just reload it and then just skip it. So, you uh, you know, you're seeing all the cinematics and you got the, the gist of the, the mission and that kind of thing. But uh, we get gold like we got gold on all of them and... Uh, you know, you need to get that fight down, so let's get into it. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are, thankfully, no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. You came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? 
Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. Is there a problem? We, we should be moving. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But... Yeah, as far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> and not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Confound it. Why is everything so blurry? <laughs> Money to be made on the new railroad, for those who know which way the stick floats. Mm-hmm. You came! <laughs> you came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Well, <sighs> Sir. How can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Hello. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, no, no. Get back. Uh, excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. Yeah. Wanna come back here without giving you a whip? Uh, we should have done this last time. Get on the train, Bo. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're gonna get hurt, cowboy. Damn, uh, Scott. Uh, uh, come on, Arthur. If that is his real name, I can't. It doesn't matter. He can. You got him! Quick, come up on the train! 
Goodbye, Rhodes. Goodbye, Rhodes. Hello, future. <sighs> all right, all done. That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with you with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. Jewels? I knew you had some <laughs>
stopped. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well, Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this. Get until these lovebirds on their way. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! All right, so like I said, it took a couple times through to kind of get everything down, but got our gold in, and that's what matters. Double A Gamer for Life. Hope you're digging the videos. We appreciate the thumbs up and subscribing, and we'll see you on the next one.